Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Jamie, if you're new. Today's video, we are going to be diving in to the new revised version of the Marine Biology Unit from The Good and the Beautiful. Today's video is in partnership with The Good and the Beautiful. I always feel so honored to be able to work with them and represent such an amazing company. And as always, the links to all of the resources that I'm sharing will be down in the description box below. The Good and the Beautiful does a really great job at updating their resources regularly. And so they just revised their marine biology unit. They added a couple new books that you can get to read along with it. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited to share with you guys what the revised unit looks like. This is the cover, as you can see, and I have the actual printed one from the company. The pages are just so beautiful, and I just feel like it's nothing like what I can do at home. So I do really enjoy getting it actually shipped from them because the paper quality is just so great, and it's just beautiful. So opening up, you'll see the Marine Biology Table of Contents with this pretty border along the top of it. It's gonna go over unit information, any read aloud books and correlated books that are available for the unit. This does include grades seven and eight lesson extensions, which I know so many of you guys really do appreciate as you have older children as well. Supplies needed page, vocabulary, and then this will be the lessons. So the first page in the unit is a unit information page. It's going to give you a brief overview of what a science journal looks like. All the Good and the Beautiful Science units have activities for your child to have their own science journal. So all of the information on how to put that together is going to be found right here. All of the science units also include vocabulary words, which they recommend you putting on a science wall. So that information will be right there for you. In the very beginning of each of the lesson, there will be a lesson preparation part that will tell you any kind of prep work that you need to do to set up before you dive into the lesson, which is super helpful. So if you take time aside, maybe like on a Saturday or Sunday before your week begins and you're prepping for your homeschool week, you can look at the lesson preparation in the beginning beginning of the lesson to know exactly what you need to have prepared, any supplies that you need to have out, anything like that ready. Some of the lessons also incorporate mini books and as we go through the lessons you'll be able to see what these mini books will look like and I'll talk to you more about what it looks like to set those up. Of course the lessons include activities and also experiments and adults should always supervise children when they're working with the experiments and the activities. Some of the lessons also have video recordings for them. So if you go to the goodandthebeautiful.com slash science videos, you can see the videos for the experiments that were used in this unit. So that's a really great resource to incorporate. If you want to get a better idea on what a certain experiment is supposed to look like, you can head on over there and watch a video on it. There are also some unit videos for some of the lessons, and those will be in the same area, uh, goodandthebeautiful.com slash science videos. You're going to go to the marine biology link, and it will also have unit videos for those as well. There is content for older children in some of the lessons, including the lesson extensions. So you may choose to skip this content that's for older children. If you do have younger children, you can also just focus in on the content that you you feel is more appropriate for them. So the read aloud book pack for this unit includes the book Dive, Explore Coral Reefs Around the World, and Dangerous Sea Creatures. So I am going to show you guys the book Dive. I'm so excited about these you guys. So as you open this up, this book is about coral reefs around the world. So each of these are going to have a different place. As you see, it looks like there are postcards from different places, beautiful pictures.
that is just an idea of what that dive book looks like. There's still lots more pages about different coral reefs in the world. And then this one, which I think is going to be a favorite, is Dangerous Sea Creatures. I don't know about you guys, but sea creatures are always such a fascination in my house. I think it's just them being in the ocean and the unknown, but they are so neat to learn about, and every single one of my kids absolutely loves it. So as you can see, the photos in this are beautiful. They've got lots of really cool sea creatures. So that is just a little taste of the dangerous sea creatures. And then if you're wanting to know more about any other correlated books, you can go to goodandbeautiful.com slash science, click on the marine biology science unit page, and check out any other correlated books that the Good and the Beautiful has listed for this unit. This unit also has grade seven through eight lesson extensions, which is so nice if you have older children that you just want to dive in a little deeper on the information with. Uh, the extensions are going to follow the lessons. There are answer keys that are located on goodandbeautiful.com slash science in the marine biology unit area. These lessons are really only designed to take about 10 to 15 minutes per extension, so they're not really long. A lot of it can be done individually, but you could also make it um, something that you do specifically with your child for some extra one-on-one -on -one time as well if you'd like. There is also another reading book called Explore the Ocean Floor, and that is an optional grade 7 through 8 reading book. Next is the Supplies Needed page, and each of the units has one of these pages, and it breaks down all of the information that you need for each of the lessons. Most of this stuff is things that you have on hand already and if you don't have it on hand you can usually get it at your local dollar store, Amazon, Walmart. Things like this are all super easy to get so the good and the beautiful make learning very easy and accessible for you. You don't have to jump through any crazy hoops but this makes it really nice to plan out your unit you can sit down before you even start your unit and just gather together all of these things, put them all in a box, and then once you guys start your unit, all you have to do is pull from them. And then in the beginning of the lessons, it's going to tell you what you need to have um, for your lesson preparation. So you already have it all together. You just have to grab it from the box. This is the vocabulary section. All of these vocabulary words you can cut out and put them on your science wall as you go through your unit. So starting off, the first lesson is going to go over ocean characteristics. You'll see the objective listed in the very beginning, help children identify the Earth's oceans and understand the basic characteristic of the ocean that God created. The Good and the Beautiful does have a creation-based science 
perspective. So all of the science units are going to include a creation um, based foundation and they will include scripture in some of the lessons as well. So that's something to keep in mind as you're going through this, which I personally love because I just see God in everything and it's awesome to have a science unit that really just hones in on that and acknowledges um, that God is so amazing in everything that he creates. Preparation and then any supplies that you have. So this is the first mini book and I'll show you exactly what it looks like and how you're going to put it together. You'll see that there is a dotted line separating these two photos. You're going to cut that dotted line on each of these pages. And then I usually laminate the pages together and create just like a little book and then use a binder ring in the corner of it just so that it's a little bit more sturdy with the laminated pages. It's super easy. You just cut it right through the middle and then put them together.
regrets, decisions that you made. You have to take another leap. Close your eyes and believe me when I say, don't be afraid. Lesson five is going to focus on coral reefs. This would be a great one to read the coral reefs book. Any activity supplies um, that you need will be located here and it looks like there's just colored pencils or crayons for this one. Photograph observation. It's probably a really pretty photo to look at. Then you'll see you do have vocabulary words. It's gonna tell you when to cut out those vocabulary words and put them on your wall. I had someone ask me in my last video if I laminate the whole page or if I cut. I cut first and then I usually take the two pieces back to back. So I would take four and five, put them back to back, uh, maybe do like a glue stick or something in between the two of them just to make it a little bit more sturdy when I put it on the laminated page and then just run it through my laminator. It's a pretty coloring page that you could send through your copier if you wanted and let the kids color. And the lesson five extension. Lesson six is marine invertebrates part one. The lesson seven extension is case study of the colossal squid.
craft if you have a younger kiddo. A sea turtle craft activity. get into sharks in lesson 10, which I think is always going to be fun, right? Never a dull moment when it comes to sharks. Looks like one small can of tomato juice or a bottle of lemon juice. So some things that you've probably already got inside of your kitchen. Permanent marker, paper cups, and water. There's a puzzle activity. And an experiment so it looks like the tomato juice and lemon juice is going to be used for the experiment in this lesson and the puzzle pieces all facts about sharks they're going to put that together
All right, so this is the marine biology unit, the revised version for the good and the beautiful. I hope that you guys enjoyed this flip through. If you have any questions, please comment down below and let me know. As always, the links to all the resources listed will be down in the description box for you. So you can go to the good and the beautiful's website and check it out and check it out as well as all of the other science units that they offer. This is just one amazing science unit out of a ton of them. So thank you so much for joining me for this video. A big thanks to The Good and the Beautiful for partnering with me on this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.